Welcome folks, this deck here has a ridiculous damage range and really is perfect to grind into the top 50. Today I'm going to show you how to use it and of course if you like the channel and the content, leave a subscribe, it will motivate me to do more tips and tricks and of course decks and I'm really looking forward to the new expansion and we're going to have a lot more to do. So first let's go into the fields of battle. So yeah, uh, basically I have again two versions of this deck. Um, funny thing, this one version here gives a I have lot, no, I have no a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of M. Shen at the beginning. Okay, we'll make uh, the sound effect a little bit lower. And yeah, um, yeah, M. Shen for example is one of the best cards for the two energy drops in the whole game and I went lucky here done the counter attack will promise me another one this League of Old Knight is also really done um, the Rem Remembrance Order Remembrance Order nowadays I would assume is much more powerful than the most people think because it's not nerfed like uh, Command Bridge or something else but it has still one energy and for that what it gives this is really nice and yeah this deck has a really nice damage range so even if you drop to low health you can still change the outcome of the match really good and yeah, this guy he got here damage I will attack Yeah, and we have Gaze of the Regent. Gaze of the Regent is also really nice because we'll give no movement. Another squad. We push him down to 20. Oh, he's uh, chosen your Rimier. And there are the Pax Imperials. And we push him back in. Getting here. You back out and hoping and hoping that he is not Crimson Spectre because Crimson Spectre would really finish us. He doesn't have. He gave me the 9. So the point is, um, since I didn't have my maximum damage card, I couldn't do the final blow. He's down to 12. And now we see again Remembrance Order is really underrated, I would say. And we kill him here. And now with Psionic Fury we will engage to 6 damage. So two fires will give already 6 damage in combination with one other card. This is a really nice combo. And we're gonna look some more. Here was Rogar Dorn. So Dorn is really known at the, from the last event. He has really good defenses. Or for the current event, really good defenses. And yeah, his ability give Bastion 2. And so far, I understand by the way, with the new expansion, this will get all legacy cards. But. Uh, this is a big but what most people didn't saw there will be a legacy ladder with an own ranking which doesn't reset at the beginning of the month so far I did understand maybe this is wrong you can correct me in the comments but uh, I think um, this is the way and yeah this chosen of Sigilly this is such a good card um, 6-3 Three, this is really difficult to remove for him. Drink side, going for six, giving damage, he is down. So in this case I decided to give me here one and I am really really in the mood to take another five. So you see I don't fear to go down with him in health terms course then I can still play the game because it's really tough not to crack and like you can see here I do not die with it I learned it the hard way this is totally true 
So Star Wars Defenders. And you can really see he's running out of steam. And it is on Bastan Sweet, so he's basically at almost full health. This will change soon. So we give him we uh, yeah. Escape went and showing another. So with two Psionic Furies, you can be already able to destroy him with a really strong damage range. Yeah, so let's clean the board. There's, like always, when you use Defense Satellite, you get like one damage. The enemy get like 15,000 on any troop. Yeah, Retribution is why I was using the... the Escape went on him. Sonic Fury again. This is also a nice card. I will read that since this one extra damage. And now you see already we are equal almost. Okay. So he has a really strong builded Bastion at the moment. It's time for Ornatov. Thanks to Onatov, he was removing the Star Wars defender and he's again alone. And he gave up. So, yeah, let's see more matches. Yeah, this was also a live match. Versus Pharaoh's Manoth. I have no I have no region. Yeah. Oh, Knight's favor. It's basically more about how this deck works. So we have good. There's a good thing is by this deck is you have really good chances to uh, hold the first game. In the first game, you must think always of the three energy cards. So you must have something to deal at least one damage that you wall out with two can remove it. It's simply math. And uh, yeah. Lucky me, only hits here. And this is usually a good drop to pull out um, the CG lead on a 3E because this will get really strong. I didn't do it here because, um, yeah, win of the week. Win of the week is a card which in terms of annoying is maximum annoying. It will push you down. Uh, uh, no matter what when you have something out so it will destroy your troops really with these only three energy so we try to avoid win of the week and we can really good avoiding win of the week with a lot of small troops Ziggly chosen so in this case I push that one here I want the board control and first hit like you see you are always behind he left so this deck will make your enemy quit so let's see. Cardos here. Let's see. I mean, like you see, I was always doing a lot of uh, styles here. I was testing a lot, and I find out that the deck, what I have now, this is, I think, the old version has much more wins. This is the old version. You just exchange the defense satellite with Chosen of Terror. I have no and that's it. Or you can exchange extras. Yeah, I'm Shan. Yeah, this is a this is a combo, and uh, this is really crazy. This uh, gives uh, 14 damage at turn nine. So if you do it right, um, you will gain 14 damage in two turns so it doesn't matter if you have survivor or not so the target is now just to bring into turn nine and usually usually you will have enough damage to kill him so he's cleaning the board that's nice giving me another five that's also nice now it's my turn and i love when the deck gives you what you need when you need it sit off and the thing is just in terms of grind you can grind easily with this deck to top 4000 it's really possible yeah see you next to our technical zero really nice we give in some damage 
and certainly fewer. What you can also do is exchange agencies with orbital defenses, I think is the card now, which will remove all your tactics for the favor of uh, um, discarding tactics and will destroy the whole board. And nowadays we have often fully, truly uh, boarded uh, uh, battlefield and this why it's not that bad to destroy them. Yeah, Dirty Fighter. So we are thinking about already Dirty Fighter. The Gaze of Regent is such a good card. Even though I have only one, I like it a lot. And we get another. You want always two psionic fuel with a crone. Because now he's already in lethal range. Which he doesn't know at all. He's on five down. So from now on we just need to be not getting to any damage. No matter what. Command. Switch. So we give him, see, we take crone's favor. And we need to take Psionic Fury, and that's it already, yeah? So, basically on turn 8 you have 10 damage, and on turn 9 you have 14 damage of uh, damage range. This is crazy. Yeah. I like this deck a lot. Cardosia. Mm, Cardosia. I don't see matches versus Cardosia often. Let's look at it. Oh, we had this already. No, we had first first. Yeah, this is the second variation of the deck. And we see again, I'm shared. This time he gets removed direct. Time to draw some cards. Yeah, you have to look that you use the card draw often. Command bridge. So this his ability is one, giving a V plus one plus one. This is pretty good. So it's a so-called enhancer, you back. Time for damage. Yeah, I like you back. Good card. Since an infantry, he will also respond to sigilly chosen, which is also really nice. So we use a good defensive line. Uh, good Ornatov. Really good Ornatov. I like a firm cruiser. Also really good. He's cleaning out the board. Getting at least another 4. It's 25-20. And we're talking about win of the week already. There it is. Win of the week. And the yeah, really annoying card is why it's always important versus the Iron Hands to play some troops. So let's go. Ganymus. So Ganymus, this is a good thing. If you have one one out, there will be a good chance of a trade. If you use win of the week, was win of the week gonna trade? Yeah, I decided to not do more since Ganymus will take over here. Nice card. I don't know if this is ability to a friendly troop. So, yeah, can be used for all things. There we have the defense at the light, the ring side, the path of truth. I want the board control. So, yeah, does he have one of the week? Better memories. Now win of the week now. Another one. So this doesn't help him at all. Because even E7 will be too less. Eight. So shielding and we're getting a lot of small to top. I still thinking about the hammer. One hammer, five in the hand will destroy the whole board. But I need to do the pressure. That's why I decided to attack him. And another CG is chosen. Lucky me, if he removed the Ganymus, this would be much more worse. 
direct because then yeah but like this beautiful so again we have here the 12 we have the 5 and we have at least two psionic furies that means damage is here to arrive and you could have 14 health this is okay and it's a simply deadly combo yeah so i hope uh, you like this serious rubio deck here is of course the card so if you want to play play it um, quest like you just uh, put on actress defense at the light or you back you can decide by yourself or the laser rifle but i would assume you have to keep it for the uh, beginning game and yeah, so we have the drilling side one time, escape band two, relict of the old knight two times, remnants orange. You can also remove this if you don't like it, but I really like it at the moment. Like if you play the ravens and they get some sneak attack, or or, or you can transform into a Farius. This fits also meme like a uh, little bit to our friends uh, the CGD shows. Command Bridge, of course, to get the seals out of your deck when you need it. And Shen, Covert Operation two times, Actress. This here, Tallyman, uh, Ubeck, SDR Kill, Sealy Chosen, Broad Driving. And uh, yeah, you saw some loses there. These loses came from uh, trying different. Um, different uh, versions of the deck promo is really nice one of two what is also let's talk about a combo which is also maybe worth it is to have this card as well into that one of course with promo is in combination this card will gain stronger and stronger and if you have promo is out already you will do when the tactic yeah we played so this is a little bit stronger but a little bit higher cost but the thing is if you put them both out and they will push up this is lethal but i found out it's too situational this will not happen a lot oh aurox transport oh, okay yeah basically i had also in one version of the deck malkandros veteran instead of you back in this then um, is really good to stop the acro. Yeah, but I found out to play like this here will be do the most performance. At last season, uh, I was like 4,000 almost, on the top one percent with this deck. But yeah, I played to a lot of events, so I couldn't show the best there. So thanks for watching guys and see you soon again. I hope we meet us on the battlefield and I'm really looking forward to the new expansion which comes out soon and I hope really for a real good playable Emperor's Children. I love Emperor's Children and yeah, looking forward for it. So catch ya. Good night, good fight.